All right, everybody, we're following some breaking news out of Orange County, New York. Uh, one person is dead. More than 40 others are injured after a bus carrying students and headed to Pennsylvania for band camp flipped over. I want to bring in now NBC correspondent Emily Ikeda, who's following this for us. Um, Emily, I know that you just spoke with a straight state trooper. Uh, bring us up to speed on what you're hearing. Hey there, Yasmin. Yeah, very much a developing situation. The trooper telling me that the roadway can be expected to be closed for hours as this investigation that the New York State Police is leading continues to play out. He confirmed one person has died. He wouldn't tell me the age of that individual, but we know that this crash, this bus accident, was packed with high school band students. They were heading for Greeley, PA, coming from a Long Island school district, Farmingdale School District. So that would put them about two hours or so into their ride to this band event. And so this this bus essentially careening off the roadway, rolling over near Weiwei Yonda, oh New York. And this was just one of multiple buses of students. And so now they're trying to arrange the aftermath of this, but the reunification of the families. You just imagine the terror of the students' families and the staff members' families who were involved of the unknown if their child is uh, their loved one okay this crash happened shortly after uh, 1 p.m and then the roadway was closed closer to 1 30 p.m again pennsylvania state police confirming one fatality and numerous injuries governor hochel uh, says that she has been briefed on the incident releasing a statement a short time ago saying she's been briefed in, on the orange county or in orange county where a bus filled with high school students was involved in an accident oh leading gosh. to injuries and one fatality at my direction personnel from the new york state police and the division of homeland security and emergency services are on site to assist local emergency response teams she goes on to say our hearts are with all who are impacted by this horrific situation absolutely a horrific situation indeed I, I actually know this roadway pretty well didn't grow up um, that far from there it's about 30 miles or so away from um, Newburgh New York which is about 60 miles um, north of, of New York City it's a, a two-lane highway on East Way one going east uh, one going west I'm wondering Emily if you've heard anything in your conversations with this state trooper as to how this accident actually happened Yes, yeah, still no details there. And he says that this is such a developing situation. We could get things by the moment. No word if there's going to be a news conference even yet. We are on our way to the scene of the crash right now. Uh, understandably, a lot of traffic at this hour, both as a result of rush hour traffic, but also this crash that we're heading forward. Uh, but a lot of un unanswered questions. We know there are no numerous reunification centers for those students who were supposed to be going to Greeley, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, the other thing that I'll note, Yasmin, is that uh, the county executive, Orange County executive, told our local New York station that 46 people were injured, five people are in critical condition. Again, underscoring that this wow. is a bus full of mostly juveniles. These were high school students. Wow. So we're talking about dozens of injuries. So we're hoping that we don't see that death toll continue to rise. Jasmine. Certainly thinking about those parents um, right now that are having to deal uh, with this news. Uh, Emily Ikeda, thank you for heading there. Um, certainly, as I know you will, keep us updated.